we're going to dive into an amazing platform called AppSmith. If you're unfamiliar with it, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through everything from start to finish, step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to use AppSmith to build, deploy, and maintain your own internal apps. Whether you're working on a data visualization dashboard, building an e-commerce store, or just need internal tools for your business, AppSmith is going to be a huge help. What's great is that it's open source, which means it's not just powerful, but also free to use. So, if you've been thinking about creating custom internal apps but don't know where to start, you're in the right place. This tutorial is perfect for beginners, so if you've never worked with AppSmith before, don't worry. We'll break everything down in a way that's easy to follow. Let's get started. Alright, the first thing you need to do is sign up for AppSmith. Don't worry, the process is quick and straightforward and I'll walk you through it step by step. Start by heading to the AppSmith website. Once you're on the homepage, look for the sign up button, which is typically located in the top right corner of the page. Go ahead and click on that button, and it will take you to the registration page. There are several options here. You can sign up using your Google account, GitHub, or just your email. Pick whatever is easiest for you. If you're using an email address, just enter your details, and you'll be all set. Once you're logged in, AppSmith will guide you through a few more basic setup steps. It's pretty straightforward. You'll be asked to choose your primary skill set. You can also specify your purpose for using AppSmith. When you're done with all that, Click Get Started and you'll be taken to the AppSmith Editor where you'll start building your first app. Exciting, right? Once you're in, you'll land on the AppSmith dashboard, which serves as your central hub for managing everything. This is where all your workspaces, apps, and templates are stored, so make sure you get familiar with it because this is where all the action happens. The good news is that the interface is designed to be intuitive and easy to navigate, so even if you're new to AppSmith, you'll feel right at home in no time. You'll find two primary tabs, Apps and Templates. The Apps tab is where your workspaces are located. Think of a workspace as a folder that holds all the apps you're working on. Inside each workspace, you can organize various projects and apps. Whether you're working on one app or several, workspaces help keep everything neat and in order. If you want to create a new workspace, just click on the plus new workspace button. The process is straightforward. Give your workspace a name and you're ready to start adding apps to it. The templates tab is your go-to place for browsing AppSmith's pre-built apps. These templates are a real time saver especially if you don't want to start from scratch. You can filter through categories to find what best fits your needs, whether it's a CRM, analytics dashboard, or a simple user interface. Once you find a template you like, simply click to import it into your workspace and start customizing it to fit your requirements. The dashboard gives you everything you need in one place. You can create, manage, and edit apps all from this page, and it's super easy to navigate. Now let's dive into the fun part, actually building your app. When you first sign up for AppSmith, the platform will automatically create a workspace for you called My First Application. You should see this workspace right when you land on the homepage. It's the perfect place to begin your journey as it gives you a clean slate to start exploring and creating your first app. If you're already inside an app and want to go back to the homepage, it's easy. Just click on the AppSmith logo in the top left corner of the screen, and that will instantly take you back to the main dashboard where you can see all your workspaces, apps, and templates. To get started with building a new app, Look for the plus new button on the right hand side of the page, under the workspace you want to work in. 
When you click on that button, you'll be taken to a fresh, blank canvas where you can start building your app from scratch. This is where your creativity comes into play. You can design and develop an app exactly the way you want. But I get it, starting from scratch can be a bit overwhelming, especially if you're just getting the hang of AppSmith. Don't worry. AppSmith has a fantastic library of pre-built templates that can save you time and effort. Let's say you want to create an e-commerce store, but don't want to start from square one. Instead of building everything yourself, you can use the e-commerce store template. And then click on the plus button to add it to your workspace. AppSmith will create a copy of the template, which you can start editing and customizing right away. This way, you have a solid foundation to build upon, and you can tweak the app to fit your specific needs, whether it's adding new features, changing the design, or integrating with other tools. Using templates not only helps you save time, but also gives you a good idea of how an app is structured. You can explore the layout, see how various components interact, and start learning by doing. It's a great way to speed up the development process while still giving you the freedom to customize and make it your own. Now that you've chosen a template, it's time to customize it. When you first open the app in the editor, you'll see a lot of elements already in place. But you're not stuck with those. AppSmith allows you to tweak and customize everything. The first thing you'll want to do is rename your app. By default, AppSmith will give your app a standard name. This is fine to start with, but you'll want it to reflect your specific project. On the top left of the screen, hover over the app's name. As you do, three dots will appear next to it. Click on these dots and select Edit Name from the dropdown. You can change the name to whatever you like, even something more creative that resonates with your brand. Once the name is updated, let's turn our attention to the landing page. The landing page is the first thing visitors will see when they visit your app, so it's crucial that it grabs attention and communicates the right message. Click on the title of the page, and you'll notice text editing options will pop up. Replace the existing title with something that better suits your app's purpose or brand. The landing page title is your first chance to make a strong impression, so take your time to get it just right. Next, let's work on the background image, or even logo. A visually appealing background can enhance the user experience and tie in with your brand's look and feel. Click on the background image itself, and a sidebar will appear, giving you the option to either change the image or adjust the existing one. You can upload an image from your computer, paste a link to an image, or choose from a variety of free images from libraries like Unsplash. This is where you can let your creativity shine and design the page to reflect your store's vibe, whether that's sleek and modern, warm and inviting, or fun and energetic. Keep in mind that a well-chosen background can greatly enhance the mood and aesthetics of your site making it stand out to customers. Additionally, you may want to adjust other aspects of the page layout, like colors, fonts, and spacing. AppSmith allows you to make these kinds of tweaks easily. Remember, the goal is to make the app visually appealing while keeping the user experience clean and simple. So feel free to experiment with the options available to ensure your landing page perfectly captures the essence of your brand. If you choose e-commerce store template, you'll notice that the template has some default products in place, but you're going to customize these to match your own store. Click on any product, and a new window will pop up that allows you to edit the product's details. You can change the product name, description, price, and even upload a new image. For instance, if you want to update the price, just click on the price field. A text box will appear, allowing you to enter a new price. If you're happy with the product details, move on to the next product 
and repeat the process until everything is customized to your liking. You can adjust as many or as few products as you want. Once you've made your changes, it's important to preview your app to ensure everything looks good and functions properly across various devices. AppSmith makes this easy with its built-in preview feature. On the right side of the editor, you'll find several options to preview how your app will appear on different screen sizes. You can toggle between desktop view, tablet view, both portrait and landscape, and mobile view. This preview feature is incredibly helpful because it allows you to get a first-hand look at how your app will look on different devices, ensuring that your app is fully responsive. It's essential to verify that the layout, text, images, and buttons are displayed correctly and that everything remains functional regardless of the device being used. For example, you may notice that some elements look great on desktop but are misaligned on mobile, or that text might be too small on tablets. With the preview options, you can easily make adjustments before you publish your app, saving you from any surprises down the road. It's also a great way to make sure your users will have a smooth and enjoyable experience, whether they're browsing your app on a large screen at home or on the go with their mobile devices. By testing across these different views, you can create a seamless experience that works perfectly no matter how your customers access your app. After making sure everything looks good in all views, you'll be ready to take the next steps and publish your app. When you're happy with how your app looks and functions, the next step is to publish it. And don't worry, it's a really simple process. All you have to do is click the Deploy button located in the top right corner of the editor. AppSmith will then begin the deployment process, which usually takes just a minute or so. Once the deployment is complete, your app will be live and accessible on the internet. You can now start using it yourself or share it with others. Whether you're launching an app for a small project, a client, or your own business, the deployment process makes it incredibly easy to get your app out there and available for use. After deploying, you'll receive a link to your app that you can share with others. This makes it super convenient if you're collaborating with a team or need to show the app to clients for feedback. You can also come back and make any further updates or adjustments to your app. And whenever you're ready, just click deploy again to push the latest changes live. Remember, even though your app is live, you're always free to tweak, update, and improve it. AppSmith makes it easy to continuously refine your app and enhance its features as needed. And with your app now deployed, you're ready to start seeing the results of all your hard work.